Hey guys, it's the Burknator, and I am here with your power move today, which is also a no excuse exercise because you can do it in your kitchen while you're waiting for your water to boil before your dinner or whatever you're boiling for. Um, you can use weights, but if you don't have weights, then you can use cans, which I'm sure you have in your pantry. So this is what you're going to do. And you only need to do at least three. If you're more advanced, try for 20. Um, okay, so you're going to sit down. And I want you to keep your cans or your weights above you at all times in front of you. I don't want to see them here. I don't want to see them here. They need to be way up here so you can get more. And when your hands are above your heart, it gets your heart rate up a little faster. So what you're going to do is you're going to lean back, keep the weight behind you, and then you're going to do a sit up, come up, and stand. It needs to be more continuous than that. And then stand all the way up, and back down, and down, and up, and back down. Now, if you can't stand up without using your hands from this position, I don't want you dropping your hands to help you get up. I want you to instead put one knee down, up, and stand up. And then come back down. If you have to drop down one knee and then back down, that's fine. And then the next time what I want you to do is drop down the opposite knee and stand up because that way you'll be working each leg the same instead of having one leg, you know, being worked the whole 20 reps and being less uniform the other way you make them even. You need to make them even. So I want you to try for at least 20, but since you're boiling your water and you want to check on it, AKA take a break. So say this is number five for me, then, oh, is my water boiling? No, guess what that means? Five more. So the goal here is do as many as you can before your water starts to boil. So that is your awesome power move for today. It's great for the abs. It's a full body workout because you're when you bring your arms over and up behind your head, you're working your back. And then when you come up to the top of the sit-up, you're working your abs, of course. And your abs throughout, you're, you're working your core throughout because of um, balance. And then when you come from a squat position from down here, you're clearly using your legs all the way up. And then you're using your shoulders because you're holding the cans or the weights above your head the whole time. So have fun with it, and we will see you next Friday with your next power move. Thanks.